Nutshell, the James Tyler Bariax is the only guitar on the planet that can be 25 different vintage instruments all at the same time. It has the ability to retune itself, either with the tunings that come loaded from the factory or with ones you devise yourself on the spot using what we call virtual capo. So it's a kind of guitar that gives uh, guitar players flexibility they've never had before, and there's nothing else on the planet that can do this. So it comes in three different body styles. It comes in the 69, which is what I'm holding right now, which is more of the stratty look. Um, there are 59s, which are behind me, which are more of the single cut, less poly kind of a thing. And then there's also an 89, which is more of the shredder kind of instrument. And we chose three different body styles for a reason. We wanted to make sure, hopefully, that one of those body styles would appeal to a large amount of guitar players because we really want people to play this guitar. We really want people to check it out because it's the first instrument of this type that could be your main guitar. Not just the guitar you pick up for the weird noises occasionally, and then you go back to your normal guitar. We're hoping, and we think you will agree, that once you play one, you'll agree this could be your main gigathon instrument um, that you basically get used to, and then every instrument feels like the same instrument, which is pretty cool. So when we were coming up with the new generation of Variax, we knew we needed a partner, somebody who would both hold our feet to the fire to make sure we got it right, but also uh, somebody who would have a bunch of ideas of their own that we could use to help make the guitar better. And so we turned to Los Angeles-based luthier, James Tyler, who was famous for making amazing instruments for Mike Landau and Steve Lukather and Dan Huff. And basically anyone that's lived in Los Angeles and done sessions for a long time usually has a Tyler. They're amazing instruments, and he has great ideas about how to make things better. And so not only did he have his own ideas about how to make this guitar better, he basically custom designed all the parts for the guitar. So all the bridges on all the JTVs are all Jim Tyler's design, incorporating some of his new ideas about tuning stability and tone and things like that. All the pickups are wound to his spec, all the neck shapes and body shapes to his spec. So basically, it's a custom instrument. It's not just a couple pieces of wood with third-party parts on it. The entire guitar was designed to work together to give you as much creative flexibility as we could. What does that really mean? Well, it means that the guitar can do stuff that guitars really, electric guitars, aren't supposed to be able to do. Whether it's a sitar or maybe it's an acoustic guitar in a different tuning. Obviously, it does electric guitar sounds too. If we go back to that first one that you heard at the top of the video, it's actually a Gretsch Silverjet with Filtertron pickups. <laughs> a Gretsch Silverjet, and there's something very specific that happens when you take a pair of Filtertron pickups and you stick them inside of a chambered Gretsch body. And it doesn't sound anything at all like a solid body guitar like this with single coil pickups. Now, it's worth mentioning and reminding everyone that all of the models inside the Variax are being hosted inside this one external guitar. Right? So unlike the paradigm where if I would have walked into the other room to get my real Gretsch, when I walked back in here, I would have had to have gotten used to a new string gauge, a new string height, a new neck shape, a new scale length, a new nut width, and I would have had to have warmed the guitar up to the point where it would actually stay in tune and all these lights. By contrast, that all of the Variac guitars play the same because they're all being hosted in the same instrument. So once I get used to the neck, I get used to the nut, I get used to the string gauge and the string height and the action and everything, all 25 guitars play like the same guitar. And that means also that your acoustic guitars will finally intonate the exact same as your electrics do, which they've never been able to do before because, well, they're acoustic guitars and they can't. 
Now, just in case you were worried about losing that organic feel-good niceitude that you have with your current rig, just to take advantage of the hip technology inside the JTV, you don't have to. So there's a quarter inch jack right on the bottom of the guitar. So even though the guitar has its foot firmly planted in 2011 and 2012 technologically, you can plug it into any amp made in 1955 and it'll work just fine. If you want to go up a little bit technologically, there's a Variax digital interface on the bottom. So that connects to any Pod HD with the same connector. And once you connect them together, the Pod HD can act as a librarian for the JTV. It can remember the model you're using, the tuning you're using, and also the position of the tone knob. So the Pod HD can already change amps and effects and signal routing on a patch by patch basis. And now the James Taylor Variax can change right along with it on a patch by patch basis. So it changes the world for a live guy. For a session guy, it can be the difference between making do with the same sound or actually changing and doing something creative. So hopefully this gives you an idea how cool it is. Uh, I encourage you to go to a store and check one out. Um, also, go to line6.com and check out the new sound samples we put up recently for it. And um, I hope to see you again. Thanks and cheers. Mm -hmm.